Good afternoon. My name is Judy, and I am the Prime Minister for the government. We, the government team, strongly support this motion. We will define animal testing as a scientific experimenting to animals, including rabbits and monkeys or mice. We have three reasons for supporting this motion. I will present the first reason, and my deputy prime minister will present the rest. Our first reason is that animal testing has limits. The body effect between the mice and people has differences, so that it is not exactly the same with the body of the mice and people. For instance, NAS observed hundreds of people and the result was that there was a difference between mice and people. Because the mice have stronger immunity, even if it is okay to the mice, it can be dangerous to people. New York Times said that animal testing if, uh, are not good to cancer and heart disease, even though it has good result in the animal testing. Only 8% of those medical supplies are permitted, which is which is assist, which succeeded in the animal testing. 92% of medicines have side effects or can't cure diseases according to the American Medical Association. For example, 5,000 to 6,000 people died from the medicine that succeeded in animal testing. The opposing team might say chimpanzees' DNA can be 99% same with the people's DNA. However, Simpentis number is extremely small, which is really hard to use for the animal testing. Therefore, animal testing should be banned. Thank you for listening. Thank you. The Leader of Opposition. We are going to call us already before. We believe in a we believe in making humanism as well. Now the question is asked in this day is that why why humanism is more important than animal rights? This is because humans population is more human has more population than animal. Humans population is six point five billion. However, animal animal has only hundred million. Also also Prime Minister said that we shouldn't uh, we shouldn't do uh, uh, animal testing. However, it is contradictory. This is because chim uh, this is because we eat we have eat 58 billion of meat and we experience just 17 million according according to the our research. Uh, so it could be contradictory. Also, chimpanzee have almost same same DNA. So we can we can have experiment using chimpanzees. Uh, our government side fundamental in two arguments. The first is about humanism, and the second is about contradictory. Uh, we'll start individual argument. According to Lincoln's law of happiness, someone who happy times quality of happiness is the uh, is amount of happiness, and. There is, there is, uh, seventeen hundred. There is seventeen hundred. There is one point seven million uh, animals that are tested, and there are six point five billion, six point five billion people are all living in the global, uh, living in the earth. So we should consider the people, not the animal. So human is more important than animals, and. According to the rights of man, Thomas Dane, uh, he got he saw France Revolution and he asserted human rights, and we can see that we can see more humanism in that book. Uh, that is why I think that uh, that is why I think humanism is more important than animal right, and animal testing should not be banned. Thank you for listening. Okay, the Deputy Prime Minister. Good afternoon, my 
name is Sunny and I'm the Deputy Prime Minister for the government. We are proving that animal testing should be banned. I will rebut the leader of the opposition's argument, then continue with the government's argument. Um, the leader of the opposition said because of humanism, we should not, uh, we should not ban um, animal tests. I strongly disagree with this because he said because there are lots of humans, we should care for humans. But on the other side, there are less animals, so we should actually care for the animals than the um, humans. Now to continue with our team's argument. Our second reason is animals also have rights as people do. Animals also have freedom. It is not right to kill and make them suffer. Animals have emotions, just like we do. They have thoughts, ideas, and feelings. Because of this, we should protect animals' liberty. For example, why do you think some religions don't eat animals? It's because they care about the animal's life, and also the pet owners. Pet owners use animals because it helps our life a lot. For example, some people who can't see use this dog to lead them. But what if they are used for animal testing? It is unfair for the animal and also for the pet owners. Our third reason is that the ecosystem will be destroyed. Say, for example, a scientist used an animal for um, their test. But what if the test did not work? That means the animal died, so then the scientists would not really care and throw them away and keep using another new animal. Because the scientists keep using it, the ecosystem will be destroyed. And also, one test um, takes more than 1,000 mice and 100 dogs, and in one year it takes 25,000 animals. And because of this, as I said, the ecosystem will be destroyed easily. This is why we think that animal um, testing should be banned. Thank you. Deputy Leader of Opposition. Hello, I am Deputy Leader of the Opposition, and I believe that uh, animal testing shouldn't be banned. Our our. I am going to rebut to the both Prime Minister and Deputy Prime Minister. I, I think that their, their thing is wrong because first, the Prime Minister said tons of dogs, rabbits, mice dies. However, the Deputy Prime Minister says different. She says that the ecosystem is going to be destroyed. However, the animals used for animal testing are raised from farms or special places for just this animal testing. So it is definitely wrong. Also, the, prime, the Deputy Prime Minister said that there are less animals, so we shouldn't kill them. However, human is a one kind of animal, so there is no doubt that there are more animals in the, this planet Earth. And I will start my argument. Uh, uh, animal, animal testing shouldn't be banned because it is just a contradictory. There, uh, according to animalrights.about.com, they say that livestock killed for eating are about 58 billion and uh, for experiment experiment it is just 17 million and i know that you guys also eat meats however they eat meats and saying we shouldn't do that it is just a contradictory which is cannot be explained forever and the evolution was Human evolution was every time you using animals, and there are also new, and we also can say that we shouldn't kill every animals because we shouldn't meat. There are nutrients only in meat, such as vitamin B12 and protein. And according to the Lund University, they said the species of every time evolution have evolution by killing others. So 
uh, we it is sad however we need animals to do experiments and with the evolution we can save more people for according to the who world health or organization they say that about 56 million people die because of disease but if we use the animal testing and say without animal testing more than 56 million people will die and that is just a stupid idea because the Nobody wants to die, actually, or used for experiments. Thank you for this. Good evening. My name is Jamin, and I'm the government's We We propose that any more tests should be banned. I will rebut, uh, are we going to rebut all of the opposition sides point by point? First of all, our prime minister says uh, there is body effect, so gene is different. So we can't believe the results of uh, any, more, any more tests. However, they rebut <laughs> us that, of course, that is right, but they, they we, we meet. So it is contradictory. However, I strongly disagree because there are vegetarian. Uh, in Korea, there is many vegetarian, and also in America, there are many many vegetarian. So they said it is contradictory. So just eat meat doesn't care. However, there are vegetarian that care about animals. Uh, they care uh, care about animals' uh, life and animals' duty. Also. Uh, Nature Republic, the uh, company named Nature Republic, advertisements like this. We didn't, we do not do any more tests. This, why, why did Nature Republic do that? Because nowadays there are so many animal tests that even consumer can't believe because it is right or wrong. However, they advertise that there are, uh, we do not any more tests. So. We can't believe their arguments, also their uh, rebuttal. In conclusion, we have presented our three strong arguments. We give in evidence that prove every and each point, and we show how they relate, and also we bring us to the conclusion uh, should be passed. Uh, bring us to the resolution should be passed. Thus, we support this motion and demand to be passed. Thank you for listening. The opposition will. <laughs> Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, judges. My team strongly uh, agree that <coughs> animal testing shouldn't be banned. It is because of our humanism, and if we ban, if we ban animal testing, it is very contradictory thing. First, I will uh, first I will rebuttal. I will rebut to the opposition team. The 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 prime minister said that there are mice li mice limits and chimpanzee limits, so we can't do much much animal testing. And that means we don't need many animals, and we we can't test many animals. That's a weak point of our, of our government team. Also, the deputy prime the deputy prime minister said said that ecosystem can break broke can be broke. However, the prime minister said that there are there are. Few, there are a few animals. There are few many animals. However, the deputy deputy prime minister said ecosystem break. If ecosystem will, if um, many animal species have to be distinct, if ecosystem have have to be broke. However, 
prime minister said there are a few, a few animals. So it is a con very contradictory thing. And the government, government we didn't mention about any any sources. Also, we don't know ma how many how many veg vegetarians there are. Be it is because because they didn't give me any source. I will start my I will, I will start my presentation. First, humanity. According to the Lincoln's Law of Happiness, human right is more important than animal right. It is because there are more humans than animals. Also, if we ban this, it is very contradictory thing. It is because eating animals are domestic animals. Also, testing animals are domestic animals too, according to the Science Daily Count. However, if we, however, we don't ban eating animals. However, if we ban testing and testing animals, it's very contradictory thing. For this reason, our team strongly believe that uh, t animal testing shouldn't be banned. Thank you for listening. And I will have reply speaker from the opposition team. Hello, I I am the pro, uh, opposition reply, and I'm gonna. Uh, summarize our team's arguments and uh, total and have a total rebuttal. First, our prime minister said about the humans' right that human has more right than animals. And I, I the also the deputy prime minister talked about that it is just a contradictory. Uh, they, what they say is a world like utopia. However, what utopia means is not in this world. If they want that to happen, they will have to argue to the US government and Korean government and many others. And also their argument is not perfect either. The, it can never be less animal than human because human is just one species species and there are many other species in the world i cannot say here because there is no statistics about that because animals are too many for, than human also that uh, our proposition whip said that the there are animals' rights and animals have ideas and feelings. However, then, well, nobody, nobody can not harm animal because from the start, uh, from when we are babies, we have milk, and that is made from an animal protein. So, for many reasons. I believe that our team is going to win because we have more better statistics and sources and, tra and animal testing shouldn't be banned. Thank you for listening. Finally, we have government reply. Good afternoon. My name is Judy and I am the Prime Minister. Ah, good afternoon. <laughs> My name is Judy and I am the reply for the government team. We, we the government team, has clearly shown you three points why this motion, uh, why we should ban the animal testing. First, we said that there are difference between people and animal, and we, we use the evidence according to NLAS and AMA. And we also gave examples of side effects of animal testing. Secondly, we had uh, we said that animals also have rights, just as people have. And at last, we said that 
Animal testing can destroy the ecosystem and we gave the numbers of dying animals from animal testing. On the other hand, the government team has said that we should consider people first. But however, as our deputy prime minister said, because animal is less than people, you should think, think about the animals first. And they also said eating meats kill more animals than the animal testing. But as our Weep said, there are vegetarians who do not have to eat the meats. We had more arguments with great evidences supporting our arguments. We bought, we, we bought it our, their arguments successfully and we defended our arguments, which the opposition team could not. We were a lot more confident while they were murmuring. We had better teamwork talking to each other. We had more evidences from believable sources and we supported, and we, we did, didn't even know what team they were in. They were saying the same thing again and again, and the reply of the opposition told new rebuttals. He also did debate against the rule using two sides of papers. Therefore, we surely won this debate. Thank you. Guys, um, while the judges, uh, they will announce they will announce the winners uh, shortly after, but um, uh, the government and opposition team, please stand up, and then I want you guys to uh, shake hands, and please be seated. Uh, around 5.30, we're going to have the middle school team um, come and compete, so just for now, please stand up, shake hands, and then please be seated. Thank you. Everybody, please give a huge round of applause.